Hey guys, this is Johnny of the Coolman 3060 here to present you guys with a review that all of you have been waiting for. My Toshiba Cosmio X70 gaming laptop. Now without further ado, let's get to it. Before I start this review, I will let you guys know how I will be rating the laptop for this review, and possibly for other product reviews in the future. I will be rating the laptop in four categories, which are the following. Build quality, features, performance, and reliability. I will also say my final verdict at the end of the review. Oh, almost forgot, I will be also rating them in a scale of 1 to 10. 1 meaning the worst, then ranges to 10 meaning excellent. First off, the build quality. The build quality of this feisty portable gaming machine doesn't disappoint. Its nice aesthetic look and material solidity makes this something to show off without any hesitation. The red accents and silver colored aluminum gives the laptop a gorgeous looking appeal. The way how Toshiba describes the color of this laptop is Black Widow styling and diamond textured aluminum. For one of the gaming laptops released in 2013, this is one of the lightest of the bunch weighing at 3.4 kilograms or 7.5 pounds if you prefer. One thing that I need to mention is that the cooling fan isn't really that good compared to other gaming laptops released in 2013. It does the job for basic tasks like checking your email, internet browsing, light productivity, casual games, etc. When it comes to medium tasks, however, it does pretty well. When you get to heavy tasks like video editing, other power and performance hungry productivity software, and the latest PC games, it can overheat a bit when you leave the power plan unbalanced. Based on my experience, however, if you use the high-performance power plan, the laptop will overheat to more than 100 degrees Celsius in some cases. To prevent further overheating, the laptop does shut itself off for safety against surge spikes, so you can still turn it back on and still use it without any worry of any damage. Therefore, I will recommend that you leave the power plan unbalanced when you need higher performance. And I will also recommend that you purchase a cooling pad to prevent the laptop from going more than 100 degrees Celsius. The one I use and I personally suggest is the Expat Slim as seen here from Edova Innovations. The link for more info on this will be in the description below. My rating for the build quality is a 9 out of 10. Next are the features. Now the first thing I will talk about for the features is the inputs and outputs of the laptop. First over here we have a Kensington lock, a gigabit ethernet port, two USB 3.0 ports, and a Blu-ray rewritable drive. Next over here we have the power connector for the laptop, then beside that is the exhaust fan, then beside that one is the VGA port, Next to it is an HDMI port, HDMI 1.4 to be exact. Two more USB 3.0 ports, and an audio in and an audio out. I know you guys can't see it here, but there is an SD card slot at the front of the laptop as seen here. There are also LED status indicators for the battery level, the charging, when it's on, and when it's using Wi-Fi. This laptop has decent 5 watt stereo speakers, courtesy of Harman Kardon. It also does include a 2.0 megapixel webcam, which does record up to 1080p Full HD video. And of course it also has a built in mic right beside the webcam. What is powering this laptop is an Intel Core i7 quad core processor with a clock speed of 2.4 GHz, and it also has a turbo boost of up to 3.4 GHz. And what is powering the graphics for this laptop is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 770M, with 3 GB of video RAM, or GDDR5 RAM. It also has 16 GB of RAM, DDR3 RAM. Oh, and also this laptop is Energy Star compliant, so if you do care about your power bill and the environment, this is good for you to know. And last but not least, I shouldn't forget to mention the screen of the laptop. The resolution of the laptop screen is 1920 by 1080, so you can fully enjoy content in 1080p and even play the latest PC games in 1080p depending on the settings. You can also look up more information about this laptop by clicking one of the links in the description below. By the way, I almost forgot to mention that my specific laptop model has 2 terabytes of storage from two different hard drives 
and a 256GB SSD. My rating for the features is a 10 out of 10. Now on to performance. The CPUs aka the main processors performance is what you can expect from this. It is as powerful as you need it to be for any task, including the heavier ones. It is very fast for web browsing and other basic tasks. Based on my experience, it is also very capable of multitasking. For example, you can render two projects on a video editing software without much editing, and you can still browse the internet and even stream HD internet video with barely any slowdowns, and you can still play casual 2D games with barely any slowdowns. Again, this CPU is very capable of heavy multitasking. The link for the Passmark score for the CPU will be in the link in the description below. The negative side to it is that the CPU itself was the component that makes the laptop overheat as I mentioned earlier about how much it can overheat. Therefore, my rating for the CPU's performance is a 9 out of 10. Moving on to the GPU's performance. The GPU, aka the graphics processor for those who don't know, is one of the high-end mobile GPUs from NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 700 series. So of course you will expect great graphics performance out of it. To show you how powerful it is, I will show you the results from the Unigen Heaven and Valley benchmarks that I used and made. links in the description below that contains the 3 d Mark test score for the GPU, as well as NotebookCheck.com's take on the GPU itself as well as game benchmarks for you to check out. Based on my experience, the GPU is powerful enough for my needs. However, for some of you video files out there, the performance of this GPU may not be enough for you. Based on what I mentioned, my rating for the GPU's performance is a 9 out of 10. Now for the overall performance. Now including the RAM and drives on this laptop, the performance is great at best. The OS on my laptop, which is Windows 8.1, boots off the SSD in at least 10 seconds flat. The generous amount of RAM is excellent for multitasking. The Blu-ray rewritable drive is a huge bonus for me and you guys might find it useful too, unless some of you guys could care less about it. My rating for the overall performance is a 10 out of 10. Next off, the reliability. This laptop can be very reliable, but as I mentioned earlier, it does have some overheating issues that can be resolved with some more money spent to resolve the overheating, which might turn off some of you guys if you guys want to get a laptop with an optional gaming mouse, and that's it. However, if you don't mind spending some more money on a cooling solution, this laptop is well worth the cost. This laptop does come with an excellent one-year warranty, that can be extended for a much better warranty service for up to three years and even better coverage. With that being said, my rating for the reliability is an 8 out of 10. And now for the final verdict. If you are an enthusiast to hardcore gamer and you want to get great performance for your buck, plus you are on a budget of around $2,000, this gaming laptop from Toshiba may be for you. Don't forget though that you make the final decision whether to get this laptop or a different one, etc. My final verdict rating for this great performing gaming and multimedia laptop is... A 9.2 out of 10. I hope that this review was helpful to you guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you later. Oh, and don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and also subscribe to my channel, because it does help me out a lot. Again guys, until next time.